What's up everyone? Today is Monday, February 10th, and that means that it is the start of the contemporary -athon. So I have already finished a book. It is uh, like almost seven o'clock at night, and I have already gone off course on my TBR because I ended up reading Ball Peen Hammer by Lauren Rowe. I have been trying to read this book for like the last 10 days, and it took me a long time to get into this and read it. It was okay. I gave it three stars. It was a little over the top. Um, like the bro speak or the, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, Keen is a stripper and he is traveling throughout this entire book with another girl and it's their love story and it's kind of like a friends to lovers, like slow building romance. The romance itself was cute. But the way that Keen speaks in this book is just kind of ridiculous. Like in the first two books, I really loved him because he did provide a lot of comedic relief. And in short little bursts, it was funny. But throughout this book, it was just way over the top. I'm talking like frat, meathead, stupid, like broski kind of talk the entire book. Like... The entire book was like that. It was way over the top. Technically, I guess we'll count for green on the cover, maybe, because it does have like a dollar on there. So maybe it could count for green on the top. And it also counts for uh, loved in the book community because I know that Brie from In Love and Words loves this series. So yeah, I guess it could count for either of those. I don't know if it'll count really for any of it. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to read plenty of other books this week that I can count. Next book that I'm currently picking up on audiobook is Tilly Cole's Rays. I'm already reading my fiance or my brother's fiance by Shinora Williams. Today is Tuesday and that means that I've got some more to update you guys on. I, um, I ended up DNFing Shinora Williams, my brother's fiance. I thought this was gonna be like really good. I, I knew it'd be angsty, but I didn't realize the amount of like angstiness in this book. It was written very well. It's just, it's a complete case of it's me, not you on this book. Um, the main reason why I didn't like it is because the main character, the main couple, the hero and the heroine, had actually dated for like three years and she left him and now it's like three or four years later and now she's like engaged to his brother and he is supposed to be the best man at the wedding and he walks in and realizes that it's the love of his life that is marrying this guy that he basically hates. It would have been better had the two main couple, had the main couple not dated prior. I really didn't like that, um, so I DNF'd it. I am now like 10% of the way through Raised by Tilly Cole. I have decided to read Moonshot by Alessandra Tori next. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday night and I've got some more to update you guys on. So uh, the first thing is that I finished the audiobook for Rays by Tilly Cole. This was for the category of dark romance or hard hitting romance. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I give it four stars. It is a very unique and complicated plot line. This involves the Bratva and uh, which is basically the Russian mob and our Heroine is from the Bratva family, as is our hero. Our hero is accused of something that he didn't do and is basically um, imprisoned for several, several year years. And he becomes a fighter. Uh, they pump him full of steroids and he's like fighting to the death. And he's one of the champions and the winners. And he was he's coming back for revenge. So that's the basic idea of the plot line. I really enjoyed this dark romance. It was believable enough that I was not rolling my eyes or thinking like this is just absolutely ridiculous. I love the fact that everything just kind of happened organically and it was in a way that was just so well written and so well done. Like it never once made me um, 
think that there's just no way in the realm of possibility that this could happen. So I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Uh, the next thing that I have to talk about is I am almost halfway through Moonshot by Alessandra Tori, and I'm really enjoying this book. Um, I, yeah, I'm about 42, 43%, I'd say, of the way through. It is, it is interesting. It is a little bit taboo because the, whenever this starts, the girl is 17, she's in high school, and her father is the coach or, um, I believe he's the coach of the Yankees. And so it is her love story with a hotshot guy who is brought on. He is the new guy and he is well known as being a playboy. Uh, in fact, he was basically kicked off of his last team for doing drugs and uh, he ended up screwing around with one of his teammates' wives and it was caught and there was a fight and so now he is on this new team and he has fallen for the coach's daughter like i said she's 17 when it starts she's 18 before anything really sexually happens between the two of them uh there was one really annoying moment in this book that i just i did not like at all and i'm hoping that there's a point for what happened here i'm sure there is but as of right now, I'm really disappointed in what happened and how it happened. Uh, th there, that's just one little moment. Overall, I'm really enjoying this book. I will say, I thought that this book was going to take forever to get through. Like, it's a little bit of a chunker. It's about 400 pages, and it's a really tall paperback. Like, I don't think you can realize how tall this is compared to, like, regular paperbacks. But it's really quite big. Um... And so I thought it was going to take me a long time to get through this. However, I will say that this book is 400 pages and there's 115 chapters. So there's literally like pages where it's like half of a paragraph and it's a chapter. Um, or just like a page and a half and it's a chapter. So this book, I'm flying through it. I will either get through it tonight or first thing in the morning. So it's the same night. But... I am now 197 pages into Moonshot, and what the fuck just happened? This book just, like, went in left field? I'm talking, what the crap just happened? Um, I, it, it's ha I'm ha now halfway through, and I don't even know what to say, um... I'm really confused and not at all happy. So the thing that I mentioned at the beginning of this book, there was like a moment that I was really not happy about. Yeah, that played a huge role towards the halfway point. And I guess now it fast forwards four years. I don't know what's going on, but right now I am super frustrated. So I just had to let you guys know. And I noticed that all of the swimmers were eating Fun Dip before their races. You guys remember Fun Dip? <laughs> it's just a packet of sugar and a piece of chalk. <laughs> so they would eat this Fun Dip before they race because they thought that the sugar would help spike their energy up and help them swim faster. I'm like, I'm not here to question the science, <laughs> but I would like to join the swim team. They're like, you met him for like a minute. I'm like, he was wearing a watch. What a jerk. <laughs> Do you want some more lotion? <laughs> Needless to say, I was at college. It is now Wednesday night. I finished Moonshot by Alessandra Tori. Gave this book four stars. It is on the lower half of four stars. The reason for that is... Um, whenever I left off yesterday, I told you about that this is a baseball romance. The It has a tiny touch of forbiddenness because the coach's daughter is like 17 when this starts. And it's involving one of the playboys on the team. He's the new guy. And he falls for the daughter. Um, I, I mentioned yesterday that there was one thing that I really didn't like that happened. Um, and I, I thought that it could probably come into play. Well, it definitely did. And the half of the book went in a completely different direction. It literally read like a completely, totally different book. 
Um, they do not, I, I, I really can't give anything away because if I give anything that happened in the middle, it'll ruin the end. If I even talk about anything in the last half of the book, it'll ruin the big twist in the middle. So I'm just not really going to say any more about this book. I gave it on the lower half of four stars. Uh, the twist in the middle was not really my personal taste and what I like in a book. It, not to say that it wasn't, this book was very well written. I enjoyed the storyline. It was different. It had a murder mystery type of a plot towards the second half of the book and it read really different than the first half. So I gave it a lower half of four stars. I still really enjoyed it. It just wasn't the most memorable or the best like book boyfriend or it wasn't something like I was just obsessed with. So I got Dear Mr. Black and Shonora Williams all mixed up. So anyway, that is the other book that I'm listening to. I'm listening to this one on audiobook. I'm really enjoying this one so far. Shonora Williams does forbidden romances better than almost anybody. If you are a fan of forbidden, like really forbidden romances, this book is about a girl who is the next door neighbor. Her, um, they moved in whenever she was young, like eight, nine, ten, something like that. I mean, young, young. And she is best friends with a girl next door. They grew up together. Um, she knew both her parents, and she ends up falling for her best friend's father. Um, his, his wife dies, I guess, whenever they are like 17 or 18, and she is already in love with him at this point. That's as far as I'm going to go into the details of the book. So far, it is a little angsty, and it is very good. I'm really enjoying the story. Um, so what I'm currently reading, like I said, I am reading Dear Mr. Black. I'm also going to start Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Those are going to be the next two books. And with those two books, I will have completed all seven challenges. So um, I will have had at least four books read this week. I've read, no, I'll have read five books this week because I've already read three. And so I'm going to finish Dear Mr. Black and Autobiography and that will complete all seven challenges. So that is what I'm doing book-wise. Now, let me talk to you guys about fairy lights and bookshelves. So I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I recently put up fairy lights and I really like them and I was super excited about it. Well, I did something kind of stupid. I, the first time I set up my fairy lights, I set them up while they were connected to battery operated fairy lights. Like they weren't just plug in. And I didn't realize that by doing the plugins, um, mainly the reason why I did this is because my plug is actually behind my bookshelves and it's really hard to get to. So I thought, well, if I do battery operated, then, you know, I can just plug it in, you know, on and off. So I did 12 strings of lights and that took me hours to do. I got it all set up. It looked great. I took pictures, had it up for like a week and a half and the batteries kept dying in like a day. And they were like two batteries per each individual light. So you're talking 24 batteries and they wouldn't even last a day. So I just purchased some string lights, um, a huge wire of string lights and I went ahead and plug them in <laughs> and now I am working on getting this done. That's going to take all day. Um, so yeah, that is what is going on. I am going to suggest that if you are thinking about fairy lights for your bookshelves, do not do the, the battery operated.
It is technically it's Thursday morning. It's still Wednesday night to me. It's like 2.40 in the morning. Uh, yeah, I stay up late. Um, I My job, I usually work evenings, so I'm up really late and I sleep in during the day. It is what it is. As you all know, earlier I finished Moonshot and I had to update you guys because I just finished Dear Mr. Black by Shanora Williams. And Dear Mr. Black is also titled Tainted Black. This book, I should have hated it. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Like, if you have watched all my previous videos, you know I am not a fan of reading books that don't end in a happily ever after. That's gonna be a small spoiler alert, but this book does not end. end. Well, oh gosh, that's even complicated. Okay, so this book does end in a happily for now, but it's not the happily for now you want. They do not end up together at the end. And so basically you're reading an entire book with them not being together at the end. And you know, if you all know me, you know that I hate that storyline so bad. In fact, last year, my worst book of the year was basically a storyline where we read about couples or it was just never the right time and they didn't get together until like the very last paragraph of the epilogue and that drove me nuts. This was kind of the same. The couple was together throughout this whole thing, but so basically it is about a girl who falls in love with her best friend's, uh, her best friend's father. And they both know that if they're, if the best friend finds out that that's going to be the end for them, like you absolutely cannot tell her. And so we're told this throughout the whole thing. And of course she finds out, um, I'm not going to give a huge amount of spoilers away. I mean, you know, you kind of know going into a book like this, you know somewhat of what's going to happen. But I expected them to be together at the end, and they weren't. And I won't even lie, it was written so well that I just didn't even care. Um, I gave it four and a half stars. I really enjoyed this. I had to take off a half a star because they don't end up, like... It's five years later and they're still not together. So I don't know if they ever will. I mean, there is a second book, so apparently they do. Anyway, I don't want to give any more away because obviously I already gave some spoilers out with this book, but I don't want to ruin it. So I'm not saying any more. My, I'm, my mind is blown. I'm flabbergasted. I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm frustrated and, um, I enjoyed it. And that makes me even more frustrated because I really wanted them to be together and they're not. And I'm not like super mad about it because of how well that ending was all, all done. I, I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm, I'm still, I'm going to stick with four and a half stars. But I'm still really frustrated. So I'm just... Just warning you that if this is a book that you're thinking about reading, you're going to be frustrated with that ending. It's going to be like, oh, well, you know, if they can't be together, then that's like a, that's a happy ending. But it's really not because you want them to be together. Um, but there is a second book and apparently they do end up getting together in the second book. So I'm going to read that very soon. In other news, I started autobiography. I am not very far in at all and I have to say that I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I can already tell going in that this is going to be probably the highest star rating on a book for Christina Lauren I will have ever done. I, this book just feels different. Of course it is a Mel Mel romance and as you all know I am a huge fan of Mel Mel romances. That is my thing. Um, so that's going to make it better for me already. It is a young adult, so it's not going to have very graphic scenes. But you know what? Christina Lauren's books, like the last three or four that she's, they've put out, hasn't really had a lot of steamy scenes in it anyway. So who cares? Um, 
I am really excited to read this one. I really have high hopes going in about it now that I've started it and read it and I'm already in love with the main character. So we will see. Oh, I need, I need to pick up another audiobook. I kind of want to pick up the next book in the Shonora Williams. I'm not even going to lie. In fact, I think I'm going to do that. So it's Friday night. I am getting ready for bed. I haven't updated you guys in a couple of days. The reason for that is because I really didn't get a whole lot of reading done yesterday, Thursday. I uh, did a lot of thrift store shopping, hung out with my mom, did some other things other than just reading. And today I um, did go ahead. I got to finish Loving Mr. Black by Shanora Williams. I really enjoyed this book. This was the ending that I had really wanted. I told you that the first ending, the epilogue, it wasn't, in my opinion, like a real happily ever after or even a happily for now. Uh, I mean, they were happy, but they weren't happy with each other. And that just kind of really made me sad. But the second book completely made up for it. And I'm actually kind of happy that the first book ended the way it did because it means that I got an entire book with two of my favorite characters. I will say Theo is like a new book boyfriend for me. I just adore him so much. I really, really enjoyed this series, and I highly recommend Shanora Williams. If you've never picked her up, I truly recommend her. Hey, everyone. It is Saturday afternoon, and I am about 25% of the way through autobiography. Can I just say, this book absolutely lives up to its hype. Tanner and Sebastian are like OTP. I am so excited for this book. Uh, there's so many elements that are done so well so far that I'm just, I'm like over the top excited about this book. You have no idea. Um, this is definitely going to be a five star read. I can already tell. I just, I love Tanner. I love all of his thought processes and the, the feeling of being in love for the first time or starting to be super attracted and that, that feeling that you get, especially when it's your first Oh, it's just, it, this book is so well done. And also the cult aspect of it, the church aspect of it, the um, feeling bad and wrong for liking somebody of the same sex, all of that is just, it is so very well done. And I am just, I'm so excited. I'm like over the top excited. I cannot wait. I'm going to go ahead and jump back into this book, but I will update you guys very soon. Hey everyone, so it's Saturday night and I just wanted to give a quick update that I finished autobiography, gave it five stars. I'm going to have a vlog out where I just kind of do my reactions with the book as I go along. It's going to be kind of like a read along or I don't know. You definitely don't want to watch it if you have not read the book before because there's all kinds of spoilers in there. Of course, I say that at the beginning of the video as well, but it was by far my favorite book that I've read this year. I know I've said that like once before already, but this book is definitely going to be in all of my favorites list. It is so well done, so very important, and uh, needs to be read. So anyway, that is my update for now. I will update you guys again tomorrow. It is now Sunday. It is the last day of contemporary -athon, and I started and finished um, Putt by Helena Hunting, and I gave it two and a half stars. This book was not for me. I was definitely in the min minority here. A lot of people loved it. It is a sports romance. It's about hockey. It has a really supposedly hot guy who's kind of like the hot shot of the team. Um, and it's got kind of an awkward, quirky, funny girl. And it sounds like something I would love. However, it was so extra and overdone. And the excessive amount of the words monster cock and beaver just turn me off um, so much that I feel like if I ever hear those two words together again, I'm gonna like. The writing was okay. It wasn't great. Um, the storyline kept me interested enough that I did finish the book, so I didn't DNF it. 
but I listened to the audiobook and it kind of had sex scenes that were similar to Fix Her Up for me, where they were very cringy and over the top and um, instead of leaving me laughing like the author was supposed to do, it kind of just left me baffled and confused and grossed out. So anyway, two and a half stars. You don't win every single one of them. I, um, I didn't expect to like every book that I picked. I know a lot of people like that book, and if they do, that's great. It just, it wasn't for me. Ooh, I need to fix one of my lights back there. Anyway, um, yeah, so that was it. That's going to be the final book that I'm going to finish off. I won't finish anymore by tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and um, being able to have a little bit more of a conversation with me as I was going through the books. I will also have the vlog where I talk specifically about autobiography up very soon, so I hope you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys pretty soon.